here coming at you with another episode from ChoosingRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And I got a question from a uh, subscriber that left me a comment. And this is actually, this is my last day living in the spot where I'm living at. And that's just shit, shit everywhere in here. And I got boxes of shit, and I'll get to that after I'm done with uh, this question that I got from uh, a viewer. So he says, Mr. Sharp King, I'm struggling with my newfound relationship. I was wondering if you could make a video on this. I, rec I recently met a young woman on Instagram two weeks ago, and ever since then we have been talking. It's almost like we... It's almost like me looking in the mirror, but her past was very promiscuous and she says that she never really had a long relationship, but she has developed strong feelings for me and says she loves me and we only been talking for two weeks, let alone it's a long distance thing. Oh boy. But last night when talking to her, I noticed that I have to always start the conversation and engage first or we will be quiet on the phone it's kind of turned me off but I also notice she only excited when we talk about sex she's becoming boring am I being too unrealistic or do you think me and her relationship is based on sex please give me advice brother well I think you are being a little unrealistic. Um, it's been only it's been only two weeks. Um, she claims she loves you, so if she claims she loves you, what that tells me is you're having good sex, and that, my friend, is a good thing. So at this point in time, all y'all have is sex. Y'all don't really know anything about each other after two weeks. So just keep just keep it going and enjoy the ride and just see what happens. You know, um I know Instagram is a hookup spot. I understand that. You know, I don't know what intentions you had when you hit her up on Instagram. I don't know. I don't know if you got you just I don't know if you had intentions just to fuck or or just have a good time or whichever the case is, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I mean just Two weeks in, you don't really have, you don't really know shit about each other, you know. And her being promiscuous, and uh, I guess you fuck a bunch of guys. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, to be expected in today's time. And um, but you know, when a woman sleeps with a lot of guys like that, you know that some, a lot of women, they they can't really handle that shit. Uh, the reality is a lot of women when they after they fuck so many guys that kind of fucks their mind up mentally so you have to understand sex is a um you exchange energy so every guy a woman sleeps with there's a piece of that guy that's still in her you know so you know you don't really know what type of guy she's been fucking with before you and this is why a lot of women that um that fuck with so many guys over the year over uh, over the years they it really fucks their mind up. But that's why a lot of women start they start, they they talk crazy and act crazy because what happens they don't fuck with so many different type of guys, and most of the guys that they fuck with don't really care about them, and that's a problem within itself because if every woman fuck with every guy that really cared for them, that had good intentions for them, they wouldn't be so fucked up. Because every, see, see, most guys that are walking around today, it's all kind of emotions with them. Some of them are, are, are afraid. Some of them are, have a lack mentality. Some of them are confident. Some of them are not. Some of them, you know, so it's all kinds of emotions that, that are in these guys that are walking around. And most of these guys are beta guys. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that beta guys make the world go round. But if think about if every 
Think about it, if every woman ran into an uh, alpha male and fucked her, she'd be much better off because that would boost her. That would that would lift her up. You know, that would upgrade her. But that's not that's not the case because most got most women meet beta guys and they're fucking these guys. So hopefully, uh if you're a alpha male, uh and uh you know, you can, you know, put it on her and boost her up. And, you know, fuck all that 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 trash and all the 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 bottom feeder guys that's been in her life. So, you know. So this um I would say just keep it moving. Uh just have a good time. Uh you know just see where things go, man, and um just do your best. And if things don't work out the way you plan, just learn from it and, and keep it moving. So if you like what you heard, check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationship.com. Uh, like and subscribe. Share this message with anybody that you know. And I'll check this out. I'm going to show you all the shit that I have to move. Check this out. This is my, my bag. It's all my shit, man. Check this shit out. I got to move all this shit by tomorrow. Tomorrow I gotta be out of here. It's all my shit. My TV. It's all my shit. You know, bunch. It's a lot of shit for one person. You know, some people would say. And even the kitchen. I'm still packing. I'm not done yet. But hey, you know. So if you like what you heard, check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. And if you got questions, I got answers. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.